and yeah just wanted to go walk around check out a new park you guys know i love checking out new parks we'll see this is like a race against the clock kind of video <laughs> it's uh it's great everything's fine everything's great and everything's fine hold on <laughs> what are they doing i feel like i'm getting a free geese show oh look this one this one this one <laughs> that was very entertaining for me are they following me Hi, this is Katie. We are at Brookwood. Brookwood is hard for me to say. Brookwood Park. Nope, Hall. Wait, Brookwood <laughs> Hall Park, I think. And I think we're in East Islip or Islip or something like that on Long Island. And I've never been here before and I just want to check it out and walk around. So here's this, what I assume is Brookwood Hall. Why is Brookwood so hard for me to say? Brookwood. Brookwood. Anyway, but also when I looked at it on the map, it said permanently closed. So I have no clue what this used to be. But it's this huge building, beautiful. And then tennis courts. And then behind me is like a playground and a couple other things like that. But then I'm on just like a little dirt road, dirt little path, hiking sandals, of course, from Amazon, loves of my life. And yeah, just wanted to go walk around, check out a new park. You guys know I love checking out new parks. And you guys know I grew up on Long Island and I'm back here visiting, but I really honestly haven't been to that many parks. Like a couple, sure, but Long Island has a lot of parks that I have not been to. I like that sound. Let me know if you like that sound. Crunch, crunch, crunch. But yeah, a lot of the times when I'm looking for a new park to check out, just to go for a walk and look at the sites, I honestly just look at my Apple Maps and I just type in park and I just kind of look around. And sometimes what I see ends up not really being a park that you can walk around, but sometimes they are. And so that's just how I found this one. I just typed in park in this area and it brought me to here. This is so pretty. A little bench, can sit right here. Look at this. Oh my goodness. This is so beautiful. It's so pretty. Oh, my GoPro only has 15% battery. All right, well, let's see if we can make this into a shorter video than normal. If not, I can film some on my phone. But my phone also only has like 20%, so we'll see. We'll see. This is like a race against the clock kind of video. <laughs> no, this is so beautiful. Let me see what... Um, what water this even is. I have my little like fanny pack that I keep this one specifically in the car. I keep it empty. And then when I go for a walk or something, I'll put my phone in here, my keys, a chapstick, my wallet, a uh, hair tie and stuff like that. Like my absolute necessities. Let's see what water this is. Naps Lake, K-N-A-P-P-S Lake. There's a train near here. Uh, yeah, Naps Lake. All right. So if we go this way, to the right, uh, it looks like you get a better view of the lake as well. But that was beautiful. I love that. Just like a little clearing. So pretty. Okay. I feel like it's like an extra exercise walking on this. Like walking on sand. I keep like sinking into it. Okay, let's go. Also, this side of my hair is flatter than this side. And it's, uh, it's great. Everything's fine. Everything's great and everything's fine. Okay, so we came from that way. There's the building. This looks like they're doing new construction, no? So I wonder if they're gonna do something with this building. I don't know. Okay. So then, oh, here's a bigger clearing. I don't know if this is like a whole trail. It kind of looks like there's a trail right here. So we'll go that way and see how far it goes. You guys know that I love going on walks and checking out new parks but it depends every single park. It totally depends how safe I feel walking there by myself. And so if it's super secluded, if there's nobody around, stuff like that, I might not feel safe to walk. But at a place like this where it's super open, like super, super open, and there's a bunch of people around, then I feel super safe walking here by myself. Um, yeah, but it just depends on the park and stuff that I go to. All right, but look at this water, it's so pretty. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. And there's roots. 
this is gorgeous in here. Wow. Wow. And yeah, again, I grew up on Long Island and I visited several times over the last 10 years since I've left Long Island, but there are so many parks on Long Island and I haven't been to like 95% of them. And so I want to check some out while I'm here and show you guys, but also like, look how gorgeous this is. I just want to hang out here. I love checking out new parks, especially when you have water. Hey guys. See you later. Okay, so that trail is like right here, but there's a bunch of benches, picnic tables, a million geese. Ooh, I see like a tiny little boardwalk. Do you see that? We're gonna go walk on that. Oh no, there's people on it. Never mind. There's kids on it. Never mind. <laughs> Maybe later. Oh, I think they're fishing. That's cool. A little fishing pier, fishing dock. Here's just another view of this before we get on that trail. So beautiful. So let's try this trail. What if I just flatten this side of my hair? Since this side is not fluffing up. It's fine. So here's the other side of that building. I want to look up what this building used to be. What's it called again? Brookwood Hall. Brookwood. Why is it so hard for me to say? Okay, maybe it's not closed. I'm so confused. Because something on the map said it's permanently closed. But now this thing is saying that it's not. It's just one of the great estates at the dawn of the 20th century, but now it's home to administrative offices of the Department of Parks, Rec, and Cultural Affairs. It's hard for me to say Parks and Recreation because I always want to say Parks and Rec. <laughs> parks, Recreation, and Cultural Affairs. Oh, okay. That's cool. But again, the other thing said it was permanently closed, so I don't know. Regardless, it's a beautiful building. At least we know that much. Oh, so yeah, this trail goes like all the way over there looks like it goes pretty far okay so let's just walk until my camera dies three percent oh no i have three percent of my camera left oops oops so i'll just film the rest on my phone okay my camera battery is officially dead and so now i'm going to film the rest of this on my phone so i have no idea how different the quality is going to be look at that guy yeah, I don't know if the sound's gonna be different or the video's gonna be different, but I'm just gonna film for a couple minutes on my phone. Oh. Hi, babies. I hope the steadiness is okay. I love how strategically those birds. Hold on. <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> Oh, there's a swan. <gasps> I've never seen a swan swim so fast. Did you see that swan? Is he trying to scare the, oh my goodness, what is happening? <laughs> Was the swan trying to scare them away? Are they trying to be intimidating? What's happening? Bird experts, please let me know what is happening. Cause I don't even know if I got that swan on camera. I hope I did. But the swan just like swam as fast as it could. They're swimming like 45 miles an hour. Oh, there he is. You see him? Right there. A mosquito just landed on my hand, but I caught it before it bit me. Um, anyway, yeah, what's happening? <laughs> are they dancing? <laughs> like, <laughs> are they trying to intimidate this one? Like, what is happening? What are you guys up to? What's going on? I'm asking this one because he's walking me. What's going on, Bubba? Can you tell me? <laughs> I feel like I'm getting a free geese show. Oh look, this one, this one, this one. <laughs> what is happening? I feel like I'm getting like a zoo show. Like up oh, every hour on the hour, here's the show. What's going on? Do you guys not like this one? Are you in a fight? Is he doing a show? I'm sure he's just taking a bath, but like, what's going on?
I hope you saw before when the swan was swimming really fast. Okay. I'm gonna back away a little bit. What was that? Is that how the swan takes a bath? <laughs> Do you guys get entertained by stuff like this too? <laughs> Is this just me? I think this one's taking a bath, right? Are they all just taking baths? Is it just bath time? The baths are very loud. But look at them. This is so entertaining. Oh my goodness. I feel like I could watch this footage 10 times and just look at a different bird every single time. <laughs> because they're all doing different things. Hi, Swan. It looks like they're friends now, so I don't know why the Swan was chasing them before. Maybe they were chasing the Swan. I don't know what was going on. I hope the lighting on my phone is okay. This is very entertaining. Is this just bath time? What's going on, Bubba? I'm, I'm asking this one right here. Bubba, what's going on? Can you tell me? Look how cute you are. Oh. All right. Well, I just want to see if there's any more beef with the swan. All right, they're all coming on land now. I'm gonna back away a little bit. <laughs> I'm not afraid, but I do keep a healthy distance from wildlife. Just out of respect. And also safety, but you know, out of respect. Okay, love you guys. Thanks for the show. <laughs> Please let me know. That was probably just bath time, right? But why were they fighting before? Whoa, look at, did you see that one? That one right up there? Oh, no, they're starting again. Oh. <laughs> wow, this video just really turned into a Canadian goose video. I was about to leave, but now they're just fascinating me. Are they trying to scare me away? Is that what's happening? Should I leave? Okay, bye babies, I love you. Um, what I was gonna say, <laughs> I'm just so fascinated by these guys. I like, I can't handle how fascinated I am. What is going on? I love it so much. What I was gonna say before, when I was walking over here, was I love how strategically they placed these benches so that they face like the little clearings. Look, look, if I sit here, perfect view. I love that. I still hear them over there, flapping around. <laughs> oh, the kids that were on that pier are walking by me now, which means I can go back and go on that little pier. The kids who were fishing before, I might go do that. Because it just looks like this trail just kind of keeps going that way, over there. Where's my finger? Over there. And I'm less here to go for a walk. That's not a sentence. <laughs> I'm more here to explore the park. You know what I mean? So I'm not trying to like get my steps in. That's not why I'm here. Sometimes that's why I go to parks to go for long walks. But today specifically, I'm just here to check out the park. So if I don't walk that much, it doesn't really matter. Okay, I wanna go back here and go on that pier right there. Okay, bye guys. I know that was a lot of Canadian geese content, but that was very entertaining for me. Are they following me? I think we're safe, right? I think we're safe. I think we're safe. That was very entertaining. <laughs> okay. Let's go on this pier. Again, I really hope that this camera's not too shaky or too blurry because we're just on my phone. This is a really cool park. I like it here. Because there are people here, but it doesn't feel too crowded. And there's a lot of like places to sit, places to look at the water. I like it here. Okay, here's that little pier.
Ooh, this is cool in here. This is cool. So I think we were over there before watching all those geese. They're still doing it. <laughs> and these guys are like, nah, I'm done with them. We're just swimming. Hi, babies. Hi, cuties. Okay, it's starting to get a little warm, a little hot. It's 85, a little hot. Maybe I'll just go sit in the shade for a minute. I wish I brought a water with me. Like I have a LaCroix, obviously. <laughs> I drink those all the time. And uh, water in the car, but I didn't bring any with me. Here. Okay, so now we're back over here. That giant building. I'm just gonna sit here for a second. This is my view. Those guys over there coming to say hi. Hi, babies. This park is really cute. I like it here. Hi, birdies. Okay, I think I'm just gonna end the video here. I'm probably just gonna go back to the car and drink a lot of LaCroix, because <laughs> I'm a little warm. And yeah, so I think I'm just gonna end the video here. I'm gonna move this. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me a little bit at this park, just going for a walk and then just hanging out with those geese for 45 minutes because that was very entertaining. That was very entertaining. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you're subscribed. I do some videos like this where I check out new parks and just like new areas of the country because I do travel a lot and go on little day trips and stuff like that. But I also just vlog throughout the week as well. And so I really hope that you're subscribed. And yeah, I guess that's going to be it. Thanks again for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. I love you. Jesus loves you. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. You guys know I don't like waving with my left hand. Bye. Goodbye, babies. I think it's just bath time. I think it's just bath and grooming time. You want for manicures later? You don't need a man. No, don't be mad at me. I'm not saying you need one. I was just asking. <laughs> oh, oh, are you okay, Bubba? Oh no, baby. Are you okay? Okay. Hi guys, I love you. Good baby. Okay. Okay. Are you okay? Okay. All right. <laughs> Bye guys.